What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel and if you want to mine some Dogecoin on your computer, laptop, desktop, etc, this video is for you. So um, before we get too far in, uh, I'll just have you know that Dogecoin is typically only direct mined with an ASIC, so to mine it on a desktop or laptop, we will be mining a different coin through a service on Unminable and it automatically pays you out in Dogecoin. So it mines whatever's best on your computer and then converts that and pays you in Dogecoin. So you're mining and receiving Dogecoin, but you're not going to be mining Dogecoin. A lot of people get that confused. All right, and this is going to be a start to finish uncut video. Um, I know a lot of people uh, appreciated the last one, so I will apologize in advance for uh, just sometimes words escape me. Um, and I'm not great at the uncut start to finish stuff, but people like that because then they can see everything, everything. All right, let me flip it over and let's get started. So we're going to start out on, on unminable.com right here. Um, we're going to go down to Dogecoin. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, we'll... No, we're not. We're going to go to download. Uh, okay. And then we're going to download the MFI version of Unminable. Right there she is. So, um, Unminable is dangerous, so Chrome has blocked it. So you're going to need to click on show all in the bottom right corner uh, for your downloads. And we're going to keep this dangerous file. Um, Windows likes to flag any kind of mining utilities as viruses because mining utilities have been used in viruses in the past. So there's not a virus in it. I've used it. I use it. It's it's fine. So show in folder, you're going to need to extract all, extract, There we are right there. Um, I like to drag this to the desktop. There we go. Bam. Wham. Bam. All right. So here we have our unminable on the desktop. We're going to double click it. More info. Run anyway. And if you're not familiar with the... Uh, um, uh, extracting uh i use um winrar w-i-n-r-a-r that's a software that you can use to uncompress decompress or compress uh software so if you need that just go to google and winrar um so choose installation options we'll go next next we're installing the unminable we'll click on run unminable mfi so this is the program right here, and that's the installer. We don't need the installer anymore. Now we'll click on continue. Uh, graphics card. We're actually, today we're going to be mining on the CPU of this laptop right here. So we're going to click CPU. But if you did want to mine on your graphics card, depending on, on um, what you had, um, if you have either 3 gigs or 6 gigs or more of VRAM, you select NB Miner uh, for Kapow. That's Ravencoin but to convert up for, over to Doge um, or Phoenix Miner to mine Ethereum and then convert over to Doge. Or you can actually convert it over to whatever coin you want. We're just doing Doge today. And we're doing CPU because I want to leverage my CPUs. So we're click Next. And then you're going to need to click the coin that you would like. So we're going to click on the drop down and type in Doge coin and enter your address. This is not the correct address. So I need to go grab my address. Let's see here. Um, we're going to deposit this to, uh, to Coinbase here. So I'm going to click on Dogecoin. We're going to go to wallet. I have 1000 Dogecoins. We've been receiving, receiving, receiving Dogecoins because we've been slowly mining them. Uh, I'm going to come over here and click on receive, click on copy that Doge address. I don't think any of that's compromising information. So hopefully I didn't show anything I shouldn't have. Uh, we'll minimize that out. We'll dump our address in right here. We'll click on start. And it will start mining on the CPU. Hopefully this doesn't lag out my, my recording. That would be bad. 
so give it a second all right so doge pays out every time you get 30 doge uh, or more you can select it to have a payout um, to see how your mining performance is doing all you have to do is click on the address right here and it'll open it up and give you a readout it'll show you all the computers that are connected to it whether you're mining ethereum converting to doge ethereum classic converting to doge uh, random x which is monero cpu mining converting to doge or ravencoin which is another gpu mining um, process and converting to doge ours should show up on the random x but you got to give it a few minutes to submit some shares um, it'll show pending balance right here and then you can select auto pay um, that's once a day it'll pay out every time it gets above 30 doge now um, to see an estimated what we're actually going to get in doge we can go back to unminable. We'll go down to Doge. And there is a 24-hour profitability. That's for ETH hash mining. I don't have a profitability calculator for um, XMR. Hmm. Interesting. I can, we can probably we can reverse quadruple engineer this. So let's see what kind of hash rate we're getting. We're getting 1,178 hashes on Monero. So we'll go to a XMR calculator. Monero mining profitability calculator. This is not the right way to do it, but we'll say 1000, we'll say 1200 hashes. Power consumption zero at the moment. Um, we're going to do roughly 3.8 cents a day. So it looks like, um, blah, 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 blah. it's not even one doge a day. We're almost doing half a Doge a day because Dogecoin's currently at eight cents at the moment. Uh, so <laughs> I'm looking at if I just mined on this CPU on this laptop, roughly 60 days before I would uh, get a payout or 30 Doge. Hmm. That's not even taking um, a power into account. So. Uh, I'm going to stop this miner so it doesn't keep lag. I noticed my, my mouse was lagging there a second. I don't want it to lag out my recording. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Now to compound and mine multiple computers, you, you literally, all you have to do is just install Unminable onto multiple computers. And you if you mine them all to the same address, if you have one computer doing you know, five cents a day and one computer doing 10 cents and then one computer doing another 10 cents, then you got, boom, that's 25 cents a day and you'll be uh, getting your payouts of Doge significantly faster. So I currently have a few CPU mining rigs down below and I have them mining um, XMR converted over to CRO coin. Once I get my payout on CRO coin, I'll flip them all over to Doge and um, maybe I'll do like a, a catch up or like a one week update or something like that and see how much doge my my cpu mining has actually accrued because there's a lot of people out there that think it's better just to mine xmr send it to an exchange sell it or trade and then buy whatever coin you want but it's a lot of headache it's a lot of traffic it's technically more bookkeeping to keep up with um whereas this they just pretty much do all that for you and obviously there is a fee uh, it's a one percent mining fee apparently I, I feel like the fee is more than that because i feel like it, it's it's not quite as good but it's close enough to be worthwhile especially on some lower end you know some like cpus and and tech that you're not already leveraging because i have i don't know about you guys but i have a couple computers just sitting around doing nothing and i might as well put them to work you know what i'm saying so um yeah that's that's pretty much it now you're you're mining doge <coughs> Sorry about that. So you're mining Doge and you're getting your payouts of Doge. And then before you know it, you'll be a, a daggone Doge millionaire or something like that. And um, let's see. We did that in nine minutes. That's that, That's got to be like a new record or something. Um, if you're wondering how to set this up on Hive OS, um, I could do another video for that. Like start to finish, uncut. Uh, I just don't know if there's any demand for it. So comment down below and let me know. And, and if you're wondering about anything more specific, also just comment down below and let me know and um i'm gonna get my little cpu farm spun up on doge and then we'll check back in on it later so thanks for watching guys i really do appreciate it for some reason my my throat's like <sighs> my throat's getting all all choked up so i'll see you on the next one peace out all right there we go
Okay, waiting for the camera to come back around. Anyway, um, so OGs, Jellyfish, all you guys that have been around for a super long time, thank you for still being here. By the way, if you're a new guy and you're still here, um, the video's over. I'm just, But, I mean, you can stay. You know what I'm saying? So, um, regardless, though, uh, I don't know if you guys have realized, but my thumbnails and a lot of my artwork was not done by me. I literally don't have an artistic bone in my body. Um, a good friend of mine, Alex HD, he actually has a YouTube channel and a Twitch channel. Uh, he's been doing my stuff for like years now. He's a super, super cool dude. Um, but he recently just got into a, an accident. And I'm not asking you guys to like, you know, give him nothing or do nothing. But I want to drop his socials down below, uh, his YouTube channel and his Twitch channel. And please go show him some love. Um, go comment on his videos to go do that kind of stuff if you want to if you don't want to completely fine with that but um, he's a super nice guy he is based out of Mexico and he's a, he is primarily uh, a Spanish speaker but he does understand English so you can send him some English comments and stuff and, and that's um, yeah it would it mean a lot to him so uh, he messed up his leg on a motorcycle uh, he, he daily drives a motorcycle back and forth to uh, college and I don't know exactly what happened um, but apparently like ankle and stuff it was bad news he had to go to the hospital but apparently he's gonna be okay so that's all that matters and yeah i just wanted to show him a little extra love because he never like asks anything extra of me and i i just i don't know i feel like maybe if the community could go over there and and just spread a little jelly all over that you know what i'm saying so anyway i i'm going to sign off for now and uh, i'll see you on the next one all that kind of stuff later guys